Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A young Marine taking on a fitness challenge at the USO. The USO with partners Under Armour and FX Well are sponsoring the 20 for 20 fitness challenge. Contestants earn points by completing 20 minutes of activity for 20 straight days. The grand prize winner gets treated to a workout at Under Armour headquarters in Baltimore. We'll keep you posted. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spen. Also this week a Fort Meade soldier trying his hand as a cartoonist. Play pigskin pick em at the lanes, and Fort Meade basketball gets a taste of international competition. These stories and more, but first, more news from the USO. The Sesame Street USO experience is coming back to Fort Meade on Tuesday, September 27th. There are two shows at 2.30 and 5.30, both at Murphy Fieldhouse. Here's more on the Military Families Tour 2016 from the USO. We are thrilled to be on the road, to be able to visit all these bases and bring the joy and the fun and the experience of Sesame Street and the USO to these military kids. Our tour is uh, special because it's about military kids and it's for military kids and we actually get to bring it to military kids. Our tour started out in 2008. And then in 2011, we had a new character who was created specifically for the show, Katie. And what's special about Katie is that she happens to be a military kid herself. The show was created, Katie is moving to a new base. And in that show, Katie is uh, getting ready to move to another base again, which is something that many military kids go through. This year, we're debuting the stateside version of our new show, uh, Katie Transitions to Civilian Life. In health and wellness news, under the law, any federal agency must provide reasonable accommodation to qualified employees with a disability. We recently spoke with Jose Flores, the Fort Meade Disability Program Manager, about the importance of not just those with a disability having the right information, but supervisors and leaders as well. Part of my job is to train supervisors, managers of how the procedure works. So my job is also to ensure that employees know that they're entitled to this. Part of being a manager or a leader is to interact with your employees when, so that when there is an issue, they can identify those issues because part of the reasonable accommodation is the employee doesn't have to say, I need a reasonable accommodation, There's no magic words. If, you, if, it's, if it's known or if they say I'm having problems getting to work, we may need to uh, modify the schedule, things like that. But the key is leaders talking with their employees. So when something's not right, they can act upon it. Any of us can become disabled at any time. So the key is that even people with disability can still be productive. The next seminar for supervisors is coming up October 6th at Kimbrough. Meanwhile, intramural sports teams get to know each other pretty well over the course of a long season. This week, Fort Meade is playing host to the British Army Medical Corps basketball team, nicknamed Serpent Dunk. They're here from London on a cultural exchange and also trying to prepare for their intercore championships. That preparation got underway Monday night with a game against the defense media activity. The video is courtesy of DMA's Petty Officer Glenn Slaughter. Thanks, Glenn. In this first exhibition match, the DMA squad came out on top by 20 points. Team representative Wayne Douglas says it's good training for his squad. We're trying to do a bit of military stuff and a bit of sports uh, collectively in the um, 10 days that we're here. And we hope that our team, the medical services team, will do well after these 10 days of um, good training in the USA. Elsewhere, Army Sergeant Peter Barlow, a member of the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion, is also trying to establish himself as a cartoonist. You'll see some of his efforts in future editions of The Sound Off. Here's a video interview produced by Sound Off reporter Matty Ecker. The military can be a very like serious business, and you know we're, we're sort of taught to revere it, and we all still do, but it's really important never to lose your sense of humor. Um, amidst it all, like it's, it's a great coping mechanism and if we can help people laugh through recognition, especially recognition of like some of the more difficult moments, uh, like then I think we've accomplished our goal. And finally tonight we close with a final look at this year's installation run in observance of September 11th and Suicide Prevention Month. Thanks again to Petty Officer Glenn Slaughter from DMA for the images. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week. <laughs>